<clears throat> Hello, welcome back. Uh, what are we today? Monday. Um, so I'm leaving the arms for a bit just because I'll spend forever trying to fix them up. So we have to ignore the arms for a little bit. Uh, but we're into starting to put some detail into this model finally. Um, so I've been playing around a little bit. So I've started you know, doing bits and pieces on the tentacles. Um, all of this is done pretty much. Um, so the last five here, I just have to do the bigger scratches, um, which is cool. Um, so I was thinking maybe we'll work on, say, this for today. Um, so let's solo that out. We're going to add some geometry in here. Where are you? Dynamesh. Crank that up a bit. Cool. So I'm going to go back over this with the crumple brush. Um, and we'll still use the symmetry for that at the moment. So it's going to give us these like nice rings around the areas that we use the brush on. Like that. And uh, I guess uh, just a little explanation to how this brush works. Um, it, it works based on size. So if I make this really small, it's gonna just crumple up a small area like that. Um, and the larger, the larger the brush, the bigger the area, it'll, it'll crumple. So you won't get those small details. You'll get, um, larger crumples, I suppose. And that's what's helping us get those like shapes in the uh, spines here. Um, so, so I'm also going to um, so I'm going to turn off that now. We're going to go brush standard. We're going to put. Um, an alpha on. We're going to put this one on and just throughout we're going to just add a bit of this um, but we'll do it one stroke at a time. Actually it might be better to do it as a drag and then I can sort of rotate this around a little bit try and get things to like line up or something like that. And uh, yeah, we'll just um, we'll just do this on the, I guess the in the inside track of the uh, uh, thin things. Yeah, something like that and then we'll do the same here as well and we'll leave uh, we'll do things like leaving gaps as well just so that like it looks like it's like blending together like 
think so. So the good thing about so the good thing about dragging it out is that you can obviously scale things and rotate this pattern so it doesn't look too um, tiled on the model, which is what we want. Yeah, so that's looking pretty good. Let's just see what it looks looking like. Okay, so what I've just kind of realized is that like the fin is poking out there. Um, so I am going to take all of this back actually. Um, yeah, I guess we'll take this one back as well. And that was kind of my, my mistake. I should have been paying a bit more attention. Um, but obviously with the fins there, it's not going to work. Uh, so we'll actually put the, that kind of stuff like in the middle of everything. Yes. Um, so more like this and maybe leading a bit closer to the fins see that looks too tiled so let's undo that Awesome. That actually looks really good. Put one here, just so that these two bits are joined. But that looks cool. Um, all right. So we'll do this side. So, uh, as I said, because we don't want everything to look symmetrical now, like the model symmetrical. So now it's time to make things not. Um, that's why we're not like leaving X on because if we do say like that it looks exactly the same on both sides it's not what we want uh, so I'll save that and uh, I'll leave it there because I've kind of keep going for a little bit longer um, but yeah hopefully you've had a good start to the week and I'll talk to you again tomorrow alright cheers guys